Jacksonville police back searching a landfill north of Baldwin. Sources tell us that search is connected to the disappearance of a pregnant Terry Parker High School student in December. They told us there's no end date to the search, but they will be there, they say, as long as it takes. Today, Sky 4 flew over the landfill, which is on Otis Road. Police say the search will continue until they are, as they put it, satisfied with the results. We also spoke with the mother of 16-year-old Iana Sawyer's boyfriend. She says as each day passes, she grows more and more concerned. News 4 Jacks reporter Destiny McKeever is joining us from outside the landfill with an update on this painstaking search. Destiny. I've been watching as investigators have been going in and out of this gate here, the crime scene unit van leaving here about 30 minutes ago. I also spoke with a friend of the family earlier today. Ayanna Sawyer has been missing for 29 days with no trace as to where she could be. The teen was five months pregnant the last time she was spotted on this surveillance, leaving Terry Parker High School. Today, Sky 4 helicopter flew over a landfill on Otis Road, north of Baldwin. Sources tell News 4 Jax investigators are looking for evidence in Ayanna's disappearance. A spokesperson for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office only confirming officers are following an investigative lead in an active case. News 4 Jax spoke with the mother of Michaela Edwards. Edwards has known Ayanna since elementary school. It's been really, really beautiful, well, nice. As detectives sift through piles of trash at the Otis landfill, Ayanna's loved ones are praying for the best. He's trying to get in touch with her. No answer. Sometimes going to snap that with the clothes down. What's your message to the family right now? I hope for God that you come home safely. No word on how long the search will continue. And if you have any idea where Ayanna Sawyer could be, contact JSO immediately. Reporting live near Baldwin, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.